So this bone is the femur. The proximal end of the femur will form a joint with the pelvis that's called the hip joint, and the distal end of the femur is going to form a part of the knee. Up here at the proximal end, there is a ball, and this ball is called the head of the femur. And I want you to notice that the head of the femur is attached to the shaft of the femur by sort of a neck region, making the head of the femur kind of look to some people like a mushroom. You should compare this with the ball of the humerus, the way it joins the shaft of the humerus. Up here at the proximal end, there are two knobby parts of the femur. The larger one is called the greater trochanter. It's spelled T-R-O-C-H-A-N-T-E-R, -T -E trochanter. And the smaller one is called the lesser trochanter. When we go down to the distal end of the femur, we've got this knobby area and these two knobs are called condyles. The one on the medial aspect is called the medial condyle. The one on the lateral aspect is called the lateral condyle. This groove right here that you see here, that is where you will find your kneecap. The word for your kneecap is actually the patella, and the patella is going to float right here in this groove between the condyles of the femur. So this little bone that looks like a rock is called the patella. As we go down to the shin, the shin has actually got two, um, two smaller bones, and they are the tibia and the fibula. The tibia up here, this is part of the knee, and these are also called condyles. Now, in order to know which condyle is which, which one's medial, which one's lateral, you really need to look at the distal end of the tibia. The distal end of the tibia, you can see it has this asymmetric feature. This is one of your ankle bones. If you, if you hit the inside of your ankle on something, you are actually hitting this structure um, on something. This is the medial part of the tibia, and this little bump is called the medial malleolus. Now you know which side is medial, you will know that this is the medial condyle, and this is the lateral condyle. There's one other structure you need to know on the tibia, and that is this bump here. This bump is called the tibial tuberosity. The tibial tuberosity is where the tendon that connects the very strong thigh muscles attaches after it goes across the patella. So that is the tibial tuberosity. This long uh, slender bone is called the fibula. So this is tibia, T-I-B-I-A, and this is fibula, F-I-B-U-L-A. And the fibula is where you will find the lateral malleolus. Now, from the tibia, we will get down to the ankle. And here you can see the way the tibia forms a joint at your ankle. So this would be you tapping your toes, for example. And this is uh, these bones here that are your ankle bones. Altogether, they are called tarsals, T-A-R-S-A-L-S. -S. And you need to know the names of two of them. This bone that is your heel bone is called the calcaneus. This bone that actually forms a joint with the tibia is called the talus, T-A-L-U-S. The rest of these bones are just called tarsals, although if you take an advanced course, they each do have a name. What about these bones of your foot? The bones that make up the most of your foot are called the metatarsals. Just like the wrist was the carpals and the hand was the metacarpals, the ankle and heel are the tarsals and the parts of your foot are the metatarsals. As we go down here, these toe bones are all called phalanges. And numbering of the metatarsals and the phalanges starts with the big toe. So this would be metatarsal one, metatarsal two, three, four, five. When it comes to the 
uh, phalanges, your big toe only has the distal and proximal phalanx, but the rest of your toes usually have three uh, different ones, uh, distal, middle, and proximal.